he share with us some things because we don't want to beat the air. We move with the cloud, not with the crowd. And uh, because we'll be talking about new beginnings, fresh start, there is always a strategy, how things work, understanding the place of prophetic actions. I want to show us a pattern here from scripture and then we'll begin to pray. I want to show us a pattern from scripture and then we'll begin to pray. Okay? You know, there are, there are laws in the spirit. The, the laws of cause and effect uh, will show us some classic example and those laws are still applicable and they are all enforceable in the day and time in which we live in, okay? So I want us to start to understand some realities, okay? I want us to start to understand some realities and that we'll begin to see why those things are so. The Bible says by a prophet, he brought them out of Egypt, out of limitation and captivity, and by a prophet, he released them. He established them. He settled them. Okay? So now, I will take Joshua first, and then I will now take Moses, and I will see how they are, I will show us how their actions impacted the house of Israel, the whole nation. And the Bible says that God can do that against, uh, to a nation, and he can do it to a person, an individual, representing their household. Okay? That's why he put things in order so that we learn the ways of the spirit and learn to know how to lay hold on those things that God is releasing to us. Because we started this very month with the benefits of adoption. And if we are sons and daughters in the kingdom, there are things that are meant for our good and for our enlargement. And we should begin to enjoy the benefits of it. Very important. Very, very important. Come with me to the book of Joshua chapter 11. We'll start to read from verse 8. We'll read from verses 8 to 12. Okay? Just four verses very quickly. And Moses said unto Joshua, Choose us out men and go out. Fight with, the, uh, fight with Amalek. Tomorrow I will stand on the top of the hill. Okay? With the rod of God in my hand. That was Moses telling Joshua. Okay? I'm trying to show the power of prophetic act and how the if impact on the earth, earth realm. Somebody came with a pain on the back. A little, a, it's around the spinal cord, but it's to, a little to the right. Of that individual, I have good news for you. Before I even finish speaking, that pain will completely vaporize. There will be no trace of it any longer in Jesus' name. So let me continue to read. Okay? So he said, Joshua did, he said, with the rod of God in my hand. So Joshua did as Moses had said unto, uh, to him and fought with Amalek and Moses Aaron and Hor, three of them, Moses, Aaron, and Hor. Okay, went up to the uh, to the top of the hill, and it came to pass when Moses held up his rod, yeah, his hand, that Israel prevailed, and when he let down his hand, Amalek prevailed. Please stay with me. But Moses' hand were heavy, and they took a stone and put it under him, and he sat, uh, he sat thereon. And Aaron and Hor stayed up his hand, the one on the one side and the other on the other side. And his hand were very, I mean, his hand were steady until the going down of the sun. And Joshua discomfited 
Amalek and his people with the edge of the sword. And the Lord said unto Moses, not to Joshua. Now, the point here is, who was in the battlefield? It was Joshua. Who was creating the effect? It was Moses. You see the cause and effect right there. Who was creating the effect? It was Moses. Who was creating the action? It was Joshua. But their partnership paid off. A nation was saved. Okay? A nation was saved because there was a spiritual connection and a partnership. The Bible says he steadied his hand and Joshua defeated the enemy. Okay? He said, write this. He said, and the Lord said unto Moses, write this for a memorial in a book, and he has it into the ears of Joshua. For I will utterly put out the remembrance of Amalek from under, this, under heaven. And Moses built an altar and called the name of it Jehovah Nisi, God our banner. And I decree, everything, every sustained war up until now, be determined in your favor and you will raise a banner of righteousness and name it Jehovah our banner, Jehovah Nisi. Okay? It says, for he said, because the Lord has sworn that the Lord will have war. Now, if the Lord wants to have war, he's going to use humans. Even though the war is spiritual, but the tools that will be used will be human. And the war are largely fought in the mind of humanity. Okay, now, from that point, going forward, you will see, that said, uh, Exodus 17, verses 9 to 16. I want to show us that one now. Okay? I want to show us X, I mean, the Joshua chapter 9, I mean, chapter 11, verse 8 to 9 and verse 12. Let me show us something here. And the Lord delivered them into the hands of Israel, who smoked them and chased them. Okay. And chased them unto the great Zidon and unto Misrephoth uh, Hain and unto the valley of Mizpe, eastward, and they smote them until they left not one, none remaining. And Joshua did unto them as the Lord bade him, and he, I mean, and he hoofed their horses and burnt their chariots with fire. And all the cities of, the king, of those kings and all the kings of them did Joshua take and smote them with the edge of the sword and utterly destroyed them? Okay? Now, there is something here. If we go to that place, there is something here that is very clear that when such a thing happened, okay, they saw the finger of God they saw the finger of God. And the Bible said in verse 9 of that Joshua 11, he said, and Joshua did not, I mean, Joshua did unto them what God have said. The decree was God's. The effect was on the enemy. But when Joshua raised off his hand, Joshua did not withdraw his hand until the enemy has been subdued. Okay, none of those enemies that fought against Israel survived that ordeal. They were all beaten down. And I declare that your own enemy will also be beaten down in the name of Jesus. Your own enemy will also be beaten down in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The Bible says they did not survive the experience. Neither would they that fight against you 
okay, they too will not survive the experience, okay? Because the Lord God of Israel will fight for you and you will hold your peace. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Okay? There is something here. The Bible says, the man, Joshua, did something strategic. Okay? None of those people survived it. The Bible says, Joshua did not withhold or withdraw his hand until the enemies were vanquished. Okay? Joshua did not withdraw his hand until the enemy, it means he didn't stop fighting until the enemy. Today I'm talking about warfare, 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 warfare. It's ongoing. But this time we are determining the end of the adversary. He said none of them will be able to survive whatever the Lord planned to do against those adversaries. Okay? Let's read verse 12 of chapter 10. I'm just trying to dole out this before we start to pray. Okay? And uh, the Bible says God fought against the enemy. God fought against the enemy. How? There was spiritual this thing. When Moses, let me quickly draw the, uh, the parallel. When Moses' hands were up, Israel was strong and they, they were winning. When his hand went down, Amalek, the Amalekites, they were winning. So they supported his hands up. And that means spiritual support physical support, social and logistic support can also trigger victory in your camp. You see? Because some of these things are spiritual, some of them are physical. The hands that were raised were physical, but the implications were spiritual. So the Bible says God gave victory to Moses, but it was Joshua that wielded the sword. But there was a connection in the spirit. When the era of Moses passed and it was Joshua leading Israel, when Joshua raised his sword, I mean his javelin, when he pointed it at the city of Ai, the Bible says he did not withdraw his hand. Okay? Hmm. Thank you. Hallelujah. You see, he did not withdraw his hand until the enemies were thoroughly vanquished. You can see that in verse 26. Joshua chapter 8 verse 26. The Bible said they didn't, he, most, uh, Joshua, just like he saw his predecessor did, he didn't withdraw his hand. The Bible said he stretched out his hand, for Joshua did not, uh, Joshua drew not his hand back, wherewith he had stretched out the spear until he had utterly destroyed. Who was it that destroyed the army of the enemy? It was Joshua. But Joshua didn't wield any sword. He only stretched out a prophetic javelin or spear. Those under him began to win. Just like he saw Moses raise his hand, Aaron and Hor supported Moses. That connectivity is, has no respect for physical, geographical boundaries. Okay? And we need to understand that because now God wants to begin to... Yesterday, while we were praying in preparation for today's meeting, the Lord was strongly impressing on me that we should just set ourselves apart yesterday, today, because the Lord wants to do some significant things. And I don't know whose life he will begin with. 
but some breathtaking news will begin to break forth. That's one thing I can assure you without a shadow of a doubt in the name of Jesus. So I want to encourage you to know that God is up to something significant in this season. Something significant. So as we pay attention to it, we will also reap the benefit thereof in the name of Jesus. So I encourage you, even as we gather each meeting, either your specific word was spoken to you or not, because you are part of the cloud of witnesses. Something rubs on you. Moses raised his hands. Aaron and Hor supported him. Either the support is spiritual or physical or social or financial. The support was part of the victory strategy. The same thing like we are reading in Joshua chapter 8 verse 26 here. When Joshua went on what you call counter assault, counter attack, he stretched out his rod, which was a prophetic sign. He didn't wield it to stab anybody. But the implication was that those under him began to win. And I decree, as many as gather on this mountain, they begin to win. In every place that felt weakness before, they begin to gain strength in the name of Jesus. And look at it. It says, until he has utterly, how can God's word say he, Joshua, utterly destroyed the inhabitants of Ai, and he never killed an individual, that he utterly destroyed them. It is a, a spiritual principle from Moses to Joshua, from Joshua to those who are under him. Okay? So only the cartoons and all of that, that it's according to the word of the Lord, which he commanded Joshua. So these principles are there. When you receive a word on this platform, steward it, pay attention to it, pray with it. Wow. Do you know what is happening right now? Earthquake is happening as I speak. Rebaka shu paradaka liza si kebana. Etambo salabo shakabaranis. Brene kilobuzunda brena kadula minas. There is earthquake going on in a sustained way as I speak. Please pray in tongues. Pray in the spirit. The car I'm in right now is moving physically. Le brada kasuka la bruma nechalis. Regel su sobra na kanda li bradadash. Inda ribra katalamandos. Edu sakate shadevakas. In the name of Jesus. It's still going on. This is the longest I've seen. Oh, makashatari makas. Oh, Lord, thank you. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So let's continue. Um, the uh, Thank you, Father. Wow. Let's continue. <laughs> the word of the Lord will continue. You see, some of us who, who were able to uh, join with me yesterday, the Lord said he would do great things. Today, I didn't know the way he will show up or show signs. The ground underneath where I, I am seated is literally trembling heavily. It's the strongest I've felt. Hmm. And so shall he shake everything that tried to obstruct your path in the name of Jesus. I see this is an act and a sign. That's the way I perceive it. Hallelujah. The Lord keep you safe, sir. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs> no, this is very, very interesting. <laughs> and there are still aftershocks. <laughs> this is interesting. Hallelujah. Anyway, I, I want us to know the, the string of thoughts from scripture that I've shared with us. Okay, I want us to notice that so that as we decree a thing, the Bible said it will be established and revelation will flood our path. And I want to encourage you, 
when you are told to do a prophetic act, please do it. Whoa. <laughs> it is well. Please do it. If you are told, put your hand on your head or put your hand across your chest or, or say something, please say it. It will go from your mouth of the action will be amplified in the spirit. Whoa. Thank you, Lord Jesus. <laughs> I will have to stop here. Let's start to pray. But the Bible says, the enemy did not survive it. And everything that is incensed or designed against you will not survive a spiritual quick that will hit the adversary in the name of Jesus. I step into this and I decree, let the judgment of God ring out. Everything that is designed against you will not survive this season. In the name of Jesus. Lord, thank you that this understanding, this fresh understanding of spiritual implications of prophetic actions, Lord, will begin to work for you. Everyone under the sound of my voice, even those who will watch it later on YouTube. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, let the invasion and the roar of God, even uh, even the roar, the shout of the king. Let it, wow. Please, let's spend a minute or two to pray in tongues. As many of you as can pray in tongues, please pray. Another wave of quaking has started. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Father, thank you. Etalesu kubrandesh. Elibra tanga labodesh. Thank you for judging the adversary. Thank you for judging the adversary. Thank you for judging the adversary. In the name of Jesus. Thank you for judging the adversary. In the name of Jesus. Thank you for everything that has troubled you. Begin to be troubled from the Lord. The Bible says God sent hail. Hailstones against the enemy he sent hailstones against the enemy until none of them survived it in the name of jesus oh thank you lord jesus oh thank you lord jesus oh thank you lord jesus oh father thank you oh thank you lord god Oh, la baraka sata la baradimas. E karanda karanda desh. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Let me read this scripture. This is for somebody. I don't know who. After this, I'll begin to pray for individuals. Joshua 10, verse 11. And it came to pass, as the enemy fled from before Israel and were in the going down to Beth Horam, that the Lord cast great stones from heaven upon them unto Azekah, and they died. They were more which died with hailstones than they which the children of Israel slew with the edge of the sword. You see that? Meaning, those there were more people who died and they didn't know how their death came about because Hailstone from the sky fell on them and they died. More than the ones that were physically taken care of. We decree, let heavenly hailstone drop in torrent, in droves upon the adversary. In the name of Jesus. <laughs> this is the longest I have seen. Another wave of quaking. <laughs> Glory to God. Glory to God. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. We, ask, we demand that the earth will quake on the adversary. Their confidence leave them today. We secure major victory in the spirit. And we experience the result in the earth realm. We command the experience to become physical. In the name of Jesus. The result, let it be physical. 
in the name of Jesus. Lord, we demand this. We decree it in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay. Let me, let me start to pray for individuals here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. So I want us to uh, start to pray. I mean, I want to start to pray for people now. Sister Zina, please, ma, if you can hear me, if you can hear me, let me know. Yes, I can. Okay, good. Oh, thank you, Father. Oh, thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you. So, Father God, we want to thank you very much for your daughter. Thank you very much for the things you are preparing for her. For her. The Lord said, get ready for a feast. Get ready for a victory shout. And as, as this month is winding down, what is left of this month will be very eventful. Get ready for pleasant surprises. In the name of Jesus. Get ready for pleasant surprises. The Lord reminded me as I was talking, to, as he was telling me things about you, he said just like he visited and change the story. He said, your fears will become an opportunity for celebration. That which you have subtle fear about will become an opportunity for celebration. So get ready for celebration. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Mr. Dolapo, can you please uh, unmute for me? Thank you, Father. Good evening, sir. Yeah, good evening. And so, Father God, we want to thank you because you are working for us. The Lord said there is no restraint with him. He said there is no restraint with him to do beyond what you are looking at. The Bible said, and Joseph dreamt yet another dream. The Lord is saying it's time to drink they, I mean, to dream even greater dream. Amen. I mean, whatever it is you are looking at before, they're going to be almost like an upgrade. So that's the right word, upgrade, in the scope and scheme mm. of things. And so, Lord, as this word is out, we command the enforcement of the upgrade by the spirit of Elohim. Amen. In the name of Jesus, we decree and enforce the upgrade. Amen. In the name of Amen. Jesus, thank you, Father. Amen. In Jesus' name, the Lord says, Amen. I will give you light. Amen. And I will give you light. Say, so be of good Amen. courage. You will not miss it. I will give mm. you light. Of course, you know, light is knowledge. Amen. That cognitive awareness of what ought mm. to be done, and you will do it with confidence in Jesus' mm. name. Thank Amen. you. Hallelujah. Glory, you, to Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So God is showing us here that he's interested in the things that concern us. He is interested in the things that concern us. So let's know that we are in safe company in the name of Jesus. I want us to pray. There is this person, your name is thank you, Jesus. That's what you wrote on your distance. So please, whosoever that is, just say praise the Lord so that we can pray together very quickly. Praise the Lord, sir. Praise the Lord. Okay. Thank you, sir. Yeah. And so, Father God, thank you very much even for what you said. The Lord said the tide thank is you. turning. The Lord said the tide is turning. And it's turning. Amen. 
I thank you very much, Lord God. Let there be a mighty wave of gladness, a mighty wave Amen. of that will be testified about. The Lord said the tide is in, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. has been restrained. The enemy Amen. is restrained and the tide is turning. That is the Amen. word of the Lord for you in the name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. Father. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, sir. That will complete. The tide is turning in Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah. Amen. To God. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, sir. Amen. Give God praise. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Jesus. Friends, Oladili, can you please just unmute for me? The Lord said, get ready. He said, have I not told you? Be ready to see a new move. He said, have I not told you? Be ready to see a new move. Hallelujah. Genesis 22. Yeah. Genesis 22. Look at it, verse 15. It's like a second chance for things to work. Genesis 22, mm. verse 15. Take a look at it. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. yes, mm -hmm. So, Father God, we thank you for doing things, for bringing great things to pass in this season mm -hmm. for your daughter. In mm -hmm. the name of Jesus. He said, fear mm -hmm. not, I am your help. Fear not, for I am your help. Hallelujah. Amen. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. In Jesus' name. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Lord God, I want to thank you because you are our hiding place. Yes, Sister Kofu, can you please just uh, unmute for me? Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Yes. Good evening, sir. Yeah. Thank you, Father. The Lord says, okay. the Lord says, I should let you know. He said, you will soon look around and you will see how God will put to shame the naysayers. Amen. He said, look around you. Make mental uh, notes because you will soon see the flipping of the card. God says, I hold the final ace and it's in my mm -hmm. I'm going to play it. That trump card, I'm going to play it in your favor. Hallelujah. I'm waiting mm -hmm. to see how it's going to play out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He said that trump card, that checkmate card is in his hand and he's going to Drop it in your favor. Father, thank you. Amen. By faith, I cause a release of an intervention that can only be classified as a divine intervention. Thank you for making that. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let there be a Please, uh, Ma, be careful with what yes. you use your mouth to say. Any moment <laughs> in which you're stressed, don't use your mouth to confess anything negative in this season, please. I beg of mm -hmm. you. Okay? All right. Okay, sir. Before long, you will call me with a massive news to break. Amen. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, yeah, Sister Amen. Michaela, you can only okay. Hallelujah. Good evening, sir. Yeah, good evening. The Lord said, I should just bless you. So please, ma, put your right hand on your head where you are. Don't mind whosoever is looking at you. Please, uh, put yes, your right sir. hand on your head. Lord, I'm asking that you will cause showers to rest, the dew of Mount Hermon to rest upon this woman. Let her be desired above all else in her sphere and in her space. That, Lord, the time of settlement... <laughs> Let times of refreshing rest upon her. You said I should bless her. And in your name, I pronounce her blessed and preserved in the name of Jesus. That God, you will cause mm -hmm. me. I never believe it will work out this way. Lord, thank you for a divine surprise in the name of Jesus. Amen. I wait thank to you, hear a praise report. In fact, it could happen this week. Something you cannot keep to yourself would happen 
I believe it could happen any moment now. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Oh, Father. Sister Shade, can you please just unmute for me? Sister Shade, you can. Yes, sir. Okay, yeah. Hallelujah. Yes. Okay. The Lord said that which I have begun to build. He said before your eyes it will evolve. Get mm -hmm. ready for transformation. He said that which I have begun to build. It will be completed before your eyes. Get ready to evolve into what I have predetermined. Hallelujah. Be encouraged because you will see it. There is this, there is this okay. scripture that is coming to mind now. Let me just confirm it. Uh, uh, I think it's in the book of Zephaniah. I just want to read that to you. Okay. Yeah. I think. Yes, uh, yeah. Zephaniah chapter 3. Mm. Okay. Yes, mm-hmm. Look at it from verse 17. <laughs> what is happening today? Mm -hmm. Another round of quicks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have never experienced this. I'm sure some of you should check online. It will soon be online because I'm sure it's going to rattle a lot of people. Even trees are shaking. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. So Zephaniah chapter 3. Yes, sir. Verses 18 to the end. Yes, sir. Yeah. That you, sir. Hallelujah. I feel such a mighty cloud. I feel such a mighty cloud. Rain. Financial rain is about to let loose. Yes. It's going to be on a large scale. It's not for an individual. The Lord says, I will shake not only the earth only. I will shake the earth and I will shake the heavenlies. And the desire of all ages shall come. I'm quoting from scripture. This is not just for my sister uh, Shade alone. As many as will log into that and say amen. My portion of it comes through. I claim that even for myself. In the name of Jesus. Torrential rain. The Bible said God let loose the rain from the heavens. And the one from underneath the earth came. That was how the flood came about. Noah's flood. Lord, let there be financial flood, financial deluge. Let the heavens mm -hmm. rent open and the earth, the one that is underneath, let it come up in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sister Tolu Lokpe, can you please? Mm -hmm. I don't know where you are. Which country are you, Tolu Lokpe? If you can hear me, Just let me know. Pray with you. Just tell me where you have where you are located. I want to pray, and then you can go ahead and mute. Okay. God says a special package is about to be delivered and I decree it shall not go into wrong hands every content Amen. will give up and that which is assigned to you from the Lord will come through the time the breakthrough Amen. is here I decree that it be performed Amen. in the name of Jesus at the be performed in the name of Jesus. Lord God, I'm that this thing be performed in the name of Jesus. Let that breakthrough moment Amen. presently. Amen. Sister Tolu, are you walking presently? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. How long have you been on the job? What you're doing presently? Uh, it's not okay, it's new. So, because uh, the reason why I'm asking, because the Lord is saying He wants to do something new about it. Is it a personal little business? 
No, sir. No, sir. Get ready for an upgrade and for an enlargement. In Jesus' name. Yeah. Thank you, Father. In the name of thank Jesus. You, yeah. So, Father, I also want to thank you. Sister Duni, can you please pray? I mean, can you please join me to pray? Unmute yourself, Sister Duni. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Yeah. How old is your youngest child? 31, sir. 31. Is that child a son? Yes, sir. Is the child married? No, sir. Okay, please, ma. Put your right hand across your chest. Lord, I thank you for good favor upon that young man. That which is being kept from him, let it be released to him now by the authority Amen. of the name of the Lord. Amen. Let there be good news concerning family life. Amen. I decree he will not have to do multiple marriages. In the name of Jesus, establish a home for him, a place of rest Amen. and safety. In the name of Jesus, I decree every pronouncement that is contrary to him is overturned by the authority mm -hmm. of, of the Lord. In the name mm -hmm. of Jesus, I decree, let mm -hmm. there be release of favor, that he will find favor with men, and that which will help mm -hmm. and favor him, and fast track his journey. Mm -hmm. I add that you add to him, mm -hmm. beginning now, mm -hmm. as words are going forth, mm -hmm. let there be a performance mm -hmm. in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Amen. Thank you for making some significant adjustment even to his Amen. in Jesus' name. He will be, he will be perceived Amen. going forward in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Yeah, Sister Modupe, can you Amen. unmute Amen. for me? And then Sister Yinka, can you unmute for me? After Sister Modupe. Bless you, sir. Yeah. Good evening. Hallelujah. He said, see, for I have given you the land. See, for I have given you the land. In the name of Jesus. Amen. See, for I have given you the land. He said, it's a time of recovery. Is a time of recovery. The word mm. written in bold letters. We say thank you because you enforce mm. her lot. You preserve mm. her lot. Let her lot be preserved. Amen. The recovery is here. With Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. My sister. Oh, Amen. My sister. Inka, please. Can yes, you sir. me, ma? Thank you. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Jeremiah 13, I mean 30 verse 19, ma. Thanksgiving. Thank you. Thanksgiving. Out of them shall proceed thanksgiving, and the voice of them that make merry. Mm -hmm. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Out of them shall proceed thanksgiving, Amen. and the voice of them that make merry. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 But I wait to see the significant celebration that will come. Such Amen. that cannot be kept under a bushel. Thank Amen. you for a breakfast moment. Amen. Thank you for a breakfast moment. Amen. Thank you for a breakfast moment. Amen. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus as, name. as many as partake of today's meeting, 
let there be a, an opportunity for celebration show up suddenly. Amen. We have of everyone under the sound of my voice. Lord God, next week, we are likely going to use it as a testimony week. Next Monday, I will give ample opportunity. In fact, I will scarcely teach. We'll just give thanks, hear testimonies, and close. Father Amen. God, let there be mighty events. I know you are passing through in this season. Leave nobody untouched. Leave no stone untouched. Indeed, yesterday you said to us, a few of us, you said you will do great things. We should sanctify ourselves. Today, you will do great things. Ah, Father, thank you because your word is being confirmed. Amen. It will be evident even to your hand in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Jean, Mama Eugenia. Hallelujah. Did anybody, please let me ask this question while I'm still waiting for Mama Eugenia. Did anybody have like uh, uh, maybe spilled either hot water or tea or anything on a hand, on a leg that is in the house right now listening to me? Maybe in the past few days, up till today. What do we say? Yeah, good evening. Good evening. Yeah. Good evening, sir. Good My genius here. Yeah. Okay. Hallelujah. Amen. The Lord said, your help is here. And he said, I am your help. Mm -hmm. He said, that which mm -hmm. I have said... I'm able to complete Romans chapter uh, 3, verse 21. No, I uh, know. Uh, uh, 4, verse 21. Romans 4, verse 21. Please, write, let somebody write it down. Okay? okay. Romans 4, 21. I promised yes. able to perform. And so, mm -hmm. Father, would decree for a performance of your word in the name of mm -hmm. Jesus this season. Let mm -hmm. there be a performance. Let there be a performance mm -hmm. in the name of mm -hmm. Jesus. Amen. Performance in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. He said they will come. I see an envelope containing documents. There are quite a few mm -hmm. of those documents, and it's like you've been expecting them before now. Mm -hmm. come yes. and possibly hand deliver it. They will come and deliver it by hand. It's a big envelope. Mm -hmm. It is not containing cash. Mm -hmm. It's a big envelope. It's containing documents. They will mm -hmm. hand deliver it. The courier mm -hmm. of heaven will fast track and hasten them to, in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Out Amen. of the envelope will come glad tidings. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Yeah. My sister, Minister Kenabi, can you please just unmute for me? Thank you, Father. What I was asking, did anybody have any either uh, a spill of hot water or tea or anything? that kind of hurt the skin, or even possibly create some minor blisters. Anybody with such a distinct under the sound of my voice right now? Thank you, Father. Glory to God. Glory to God. Okay. Somebody was saying that something, the shaker was felt in Orange County. You see, I can see this one now. <laughs> Metro, Al I mean, alerted riders that the train tra transit system will be. Whoa. Hmm. He said it was a hard jolt. Wow. It, a heavy one. It was sustained. <laughs> Ooh, 
<laughs> not keep yourself. In your car, and your car is moving sideways. <laughs> hmm. Oh goodness me! Love... Whoever says four... no God is four point six. It's a four point six on the Richter scale. Okay. Yeesh. Yeah. I've just survived all of that. <laughs> Hallelujah. Proclaiming the word of the Lord. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Uh, Sister Modupe, you heard the word. You called me, sir. Huh? You called sir? me. I know I have called you. I'm just. Avera. Mm. <laughs> Hallelujah. Okay, 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 sir. Today, the Lord will do great things. I said, Amen. Quick, and this is the longest time it has taken. Mm -hmm. Yes, so. But it's a sign. Something broke in the spirit. I know that. Every delay is over. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 I'm talking to uh, Vera. Kanabi. Please. You were the one I was with. Whoa, whoa. Okay, Slash, she can't open. Anyway, the Lord said, from both sides, it will flow to you. He said, from both sides, it will flow to you. That's all I really want to say. So, if there are things on the waiting list before, the, wait, the thing that kept it waiting will be taken out of the way. In Jesus' name. Hmm. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Sister Olajumoke. Sister Olajumoke, if you can hear me. Can anybody hear me? <laughs> Good uh, evening, sir. No. Yeah, good evening. Good evening, sir. Yeah, good evening. Yeah, I hear you now. Okay. Yeah. Thank God for your life, sir. Yeah, it is well. Amen, sir. <laughs> yeah. So, Lord, thank you very much for your daughter. Thank you. He said, you, I will cause you to see signs that will bring hope. Amen. I will cause you to see signs that will bring hope. Amen. He said the time of rapid change is here. Amen. In the name of Jesus. He said I will rest Amen. I receive everything that has been kept back from the hands of that individual that sought to harass and every harassment will cease and reward will be given. Amen. I hear it like Amen. offering. Amen. For people thinking about the things they have thought up, the Lord says there will be trespass offering paid back to your bosom. Amen. People come in cash form. Amen. 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 Yeah. Brother Ashiwaju, can you please let's hear you? Mm. I need you to talk. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Good evening, sir. I hear you. Yes. Yeah, I hear you. This is not a word for you. This is a word to your wife. The Lord says, stand ye still and see the salvation of the Lord. We shall be wrath on her behalf. And the ripple effect shall go round. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Tell her, you will see the salvation of the Lord. You will call it God's doing. Okay, sir. Yeah, please relay that to her. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. 
Okay, sir. I think I, I, ha I, you, have, sir. To, I have to stop now. There are things I need to do. But Sister Oluwa from Ilayo, the, the Abuja Oluwa from Ilayo, can you please unmute for me? Hello? Good evening, sir. Congratulations, sir. Yeah. So this is it. It's just direct. The Lord said there shall be a delivery, not of a physical pregnancy, but there shall be a delivery or a fulfillment of a promise made. Earlier, Amen. Amen. The name of Jesus. There Amen. Is a promise made, there will be a delivery and a performance of it. Amen. And sooner than it was made. In Jesus. Amen. 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 Now, I don't know if Amen. I can put it in the house. I've gotten an alternative uh, place. I just needed to transition. That's where I am now. And I don't want to ruffle any feathers where, I hear, where I'm here. So the transition, just pray along with me. I'm saying this to all of us now. So that this transition will be smooth so that we can have our time back fully. Okay? Yes. Yes, sir. Now, with this that are shaking now, people are rattled all around me here. <laughs> people are many people are rattled now. Some have stepped away from buildings and all of that. So please, <laughs> I, I need to get back to my people. Brother Degbola. Okay. Lambo. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. The Lord showed me you already given you something. But in the process to complete, and you will then be confident to talk about it. So I'm waiting. You won't be able to keep it to yourself because it will be obvious. In Jesus' name. Lord, let the, let the press yield maximum result in the Amen. name of Jesus. Let the press yield, you know, out of you get olive oil, you must crack and crush olive berries. The berries have been crushed. The oil is oozing forth in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Sister Yvonne, can you please unmute for me? Sister Yvonne from Freetown. Yes, sir. Yes, yes. sir. Good evening, sir. Time of reward is here. I want to congratulate you. Let me be the one of the first few. You will thank you, sir. Congratulations. The results will show. Amen. Thank you, sir. Lord, I decree. Let the, con the congratulatory message flow for my sister. That which has been kept from you is released back to your hand. That Amen. in the Amen. Amen. Ephesians 3.20 Sir? Chapter 3 verse 20 Happens for you In Jesus name Amen Amen Hallelujah Thank you sir Hallelujah Amen yeah. So please I, I have to stop now People are around me Very distressed right now Because of the earthquake I can't sustain any further. Okay? The, I, I would need to help you here. <laughs> you're, you're released, sir. Okay, please. Can you somebody say a short prayer, a one-minute prayer for me as I get back to you? Father, we thank you and we praise you for our person. Lord, we ask your blessings upon this life. We ask your blessings upon this life. We ask your blessings upon this life. We grant him favor. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the 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 name of Jesus. We thank you for what you're doing. Let's be your name, O Lord. We worship and we What you're doing, Thank you for this. this name to the right to the north. Found him. We decree that your presence will not leave in your hand. 
Thank you, Lord, for keeping him on his school this Thank you, Father. We thank you, Lord, for that Tabari Kashin has given us the example and everything that we would like to share. Thank you for making a way for him. Same old God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Put doors unto him, God. Manifest yourself in the Lord. 